Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it is a glorious video we have in front of us. In this video, I am gonna be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. So if you're interested in seeing what are some of the products that I use and how I just wick away the day, baby, well then keep on watching. All right guys, so it is 10.30 at night. This face has been on so long. You can literally see where like my mascara has just like my mascara well my mascara underneath my eyes is just like gone to crap i did get freaky baby <laughs> she got some and so you can see the evidence is quite clear and under the eyes um my concealer powder it's like all gone like i'm like what was i doing it was a lot of neck and bobbin you know what i'm saying <laughs> Um, so maybe that's why, maybe that's why it, it's gone to crap. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I do. So step one, if I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I'm going to use some makeup wipes. Um, it just makes cleanup so much easier. So I actually like to order like Amazon, just sensitive, like baby wipes, like in bulk. Um, it literally lasts me forever. I think I bought this like, I think I bought a pack of these for like two years ago and I'm still going through it, but I know it's not a makeup wipe, but I like to use it also for my bottom. So I'm like two in one, it's a wipe. Yo, take it, let's go. So it's sensitive and really it's not meant to really get off all the makeup. Ugh. It's meant to just get off the surface stuff. It's meant to get off as much as it can uh, and help make cleansing a little bit easier. So I just use a baby wipe. Why not? It gets the job done. All right, so we are baby wiped down okay Whew. that is off and you notice that i didn't take the wipes and put them to my eyes no way no man pam even if it was a makeup wipe i don't like putting makeup wipes under my eyes it's such a delicate tender area it needs a little love so we're gonna have miss oak cleansing balm from the inky list she's making a reappearance here she is. So I'm just going to take some of that. Y'all already know what that looks like. Warm it up in my hands and just work her in the skin, baby. Mm. So I'm, I have enough for my face. Oh. Okay, so Oat Cleansing Balm has gotten off a lot of stuff. But as an extra precaution, what I like to do is to take one of these really kind of like fancy cotton rounds, um, the premium cotton ovals a la Walmart. These are a really nice dupe um, for the Shiseido cotton rounds. I don't know if any of y'all have heard of it, but Shiseido makes like these really bougie, luxurious, buttery cotton pads and they are amazing. But it's like $17 for like half of this pack. So um, this is still a really nice substitute because it's just really soft and it's like almost like it's quilted and layered and it just works really well. So I'm just going to take this and one, two, three, four, five. And I count to five, just gently wick. Okay, still a little bit of traces. And I just do the same thing to the other side. If you leave some stuff in there, you can get an eye infection, baby. That's not good. We don't want that. And gently wipe. Woo! And I'll just get the brows, get that clear brow gel out of there. All right, so makeup remover is off the eyes. And now what we need to do is use some cleanser. So I'm gonna use the brightening cleansing gel. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, but it's from a cure. Um, Blackberry, acai, all skin types. We love a brightening moment, and I'm getting a lot of compliments like on my skin and how smooth and even it's been looking well. 
That is because of the Brighton properties and resurfacing I'm doing, hooray. And this works really well with the Foreo. All right, so now that my face is cleansed, I use the Cure Brightening Gel. My face is super clean and fresh. I mean, I quadruple cleanse. I use wipes, a melting balm. I use uh, waterproof eye makeup remover, and I did a cleansing gel. Um, cleansing is one of the most important steps, and it's so often overlooked. So, yeah, I am doing a thorough, thorough, thorough clean, honey. So now my skin is dry, and I'm just gonna rehydrate a little bit. Take some Evian Mister. Y'all already know I did a daytime routine video and I talked about how I use water and misters. Um, so that is definitely a little tool of mine. Now that my face is dewy, I'm actually gonna take my treatment. So um, this is the polyglutamic acid serum. Um, it's anti-aging, you could use it day or night. Um, but I like to use more like uh, pollution and um, antitoxin, um, sort of proactive defensive kind of products during the day to kind of help any damage, prevent any damage. And I like to use something like this more at night. Um, so I, this is literally, I think this was like $14 and I just pump it once and it comes out like in this kind of like clear syrupy kind of moment. And my skin is already wet, which is important because that's going to help this serum go really far glides over the skin when your skin is when your skin is moist and a little bit wet i'm telling you it makes all the difference because if my skin was dry and that one pump i did forget it i would have had to pump multiple times and you're wasting product stop wasting product even if you're heavy-handed use a little bit of that water you'll get your whole face your whole neck your whole dick collage all that baby so serum is on there, but I did want to kind of take a moment to say if I was feeling super, super dry and I needed extra boost in hydration, I could use the Ordinary's Marine Hyaluronics uh, Serum. I like to use this also during the day too. Sometimes I'll swap this out for my Ula Henriksen Vitamin C. Um, just depends on how my skin is feeling, but my skin is, uh, my skin is normal to dry and it's sensitive. So some days I need that. Now, I'm on my off day, so I do use retinoids. So this is one of the products that I use for resurfacing. Um, this is the A-plus high dose retinoid serum. It's pricey, it's a lot, but a little goes a long way. Um, I bought this over six months ago, and I also, you're supposed to use it like every other day or uh, two days on, then two days off. Um, but for me, I sometimes would be, use it every other day. And then there were times where I would really use it once a week. Um, because I also have other resurfacing products too, that I wanted to shout out. So this is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, this is the Ula Henriksen Transform Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. Okay. It's just like a clear gel. It doesn't really sting. Um, this is like a light resurfacer. I'm not sure of the percentage of AHBA, B A H A or B H A. Oh, it's late. <laughs> um, but this once upon a time was actually a part of their green line, which was all for like acne and like acne prone skin. Um, and this was like one of the treatments they had. And it was like the invigorating night transformation gel, or it was like, I think it was like the transforming night gel, whatever. And this was a product that you would use and it would, that resurfacing motion would help all that gunk at the bottom get up to the top faster. Um, so it was a great product then that I used when I had really oily acne prone skin. Um, I got this in a little sample set, like I mentioned. So I have been using this lately. I'm gonna finish this out. I'm not gonna purchase this. Um, honestly, uh, it's just, I have more powerful, more, um, more appropriate, intensive, kick-ass kind of, uh, products. So whatever. 
Now, the other two things I wanted to show you, this one is a treatment, like a mask, and I've done a video on it. It's actually one of the first videos I ever did. Um, I think the second one, it was my self-care 2020 um, an herbivore prism mask. And so I have this mask, guys. I love it. I loved it in that video, and it is incredible. It feels amazing. What it does when my skin is just, I wash it off after like 20 minutes, like, it's like I'm a whole new person and it's delicate and it's gentle and it also feels hydrating because of the aloe vera. I just love this guys and this is a treatment that I do use. Um, um, I like to do it at nighttime, so that's every once in a while. But then I also have the Prism Actual Exfoliating Glow Serum. So I wanted to get this because I got the mask. So they, these, these two right now are on the back burner for products i'm using for resurfacing and like anti-aging um because i want to finish up the rest of this sunday riley so that is kind of everything with the serums and resurfacing so um i used the polyglutamic one from the inky list um and now what i want to do is i'm going to do a little bit of cocktailing um, my skin feels really, really dry, but let me get this eye cream first. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Ageless Genius. This is the firming and wrinkle smoothing eye cream formulated with gold peptides plus eye bright and chamomile extracts. I honestly, I'm not like too crazy about it, but I do want to finish it up, but I do like the texture. I mean, this is what it looks like on the inside and let's see. It's got like this like, like it has like a little bit of like, I wanna see if you can see it. A little bit of like almost like a, a tug, a little bit of a pull, a pull to, a pull to it. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. So I do feel like it helps. I just don't know how dramatic of a difference it makes. I honestly feel like for me, keeping my under eyes just like smooth as possible um, and wrinkle free is way more important to me than my under eye darkness. I think part of that is just hereditary and genetics and I'm just, I'd have to literally do like a cosmetic like procedure to like get to actively deal with that. I know they can like put like filler or other kinds of crazy stuff in there and it'll help lighten everything up and plump it up and whatnot. So that's the only thing I could do for that. So my eye cream just needs to help with the wrinkles and hydration. So it does the job. So this is the one that I use at night. Um, okay, I have for right now, if I don't use the peptide moisturizer, usually I have something else that I bounce in between. Um, so I am using the Sheer Transformation from Ula Henriksen. This is an oldie, but I started reusing this again because it was in that set I mentioned that was on clearance with Ula Henriksen stuff. And I gotta tell you, the texture in this is like air. It's like so light. It is, I mean, like a cloud on your face. It is so, so light. And a little bit goes such a long way and especially if your skin is wet. But I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna cocktail right now with a little bit of an oil. And because my skin is really dry, we're gonna really put a couple drops in there. Let me just re-wet. So I have the sheer transformation and I have the oil. Oh, one more. Oh. So light, so airy, feels beautiful. So the oil that I cocktailed in was the Bio Biosance, the Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. So I got this as a deluxe sample from Sephora. No surprise there. It's actually really, really nice and it's not obnoxiously rosy smelling. Um, and I'm always very weird about like rose cause it could, I'm always afraid it's gonna blow me up. Um, with sensitivities, but this oil, I put three drops of that, but that is like a great oil for me to use for like brightening and hydration, but I do just also have a squalene oil from the Inky List, 
Um, and this is also really great. I think this was like 10 bucks. So if you're looking for a really good high quality oil that does the job, this does it. But like I said, I'll cocktail depending on what my skin needs. And sometimes I will still have breakouts. And sometimes because of the resurfacing, I'll get like some pimples that start to come up and come up to the surface. So what I'll do is I'll use the UFO. It's the ultra clarifying acne treatment face oil. This stuff is really potent. So a little bit of this goes a long way. But wherever I have like an issue, I just do that. And just a little bit there. And it smells like basil. So you're gonna smell a little bit like a pizza. Not in a bad way, but just fresh and herbal. Um, but yeah, I will put that over, like no joke. Or if it's really bad, I will just put like a drop or two and mix it in, mix in a lot of moisturizer because this is more of a dry oil. So it can kind of sometimes have like It'll make your moisturizer not kind of glide and slick on as much. So you, I compensate by adding a little bit extra moisturizer. So um, I showed you the oils. I showed you serums. I showed you resurfacers. I showed you the eye cream. I showed you how I did like a whole quadruple cleanse moment. Um, my lips, no surprise here. Agave lip mask again. And I'm not going to use the lip brush because it's late and I'm tired and I'm not wearing any more makeup. So I'm very, uh, oh, I'm very liberal with this product. And just for fun, just add a little extra hydration. Ah, oh, there we go. So that is my nighttime routine. I am going to tell you right now that it's uh, it's a simple routine, but I just have many different products to swap things out as needed. And I definitely recommend that for you guys. I mean, when you have products, um, your skin isn't always just gonna stay in one place. And I mean, lucky, lucky for those people who just have a certain type of skin that never changes or fluctuates. Like, okay, good for you. Um, most of us don't have that. So you gotta figure out how to make it work. And so I am a big beauty junkie. I'm a big skincare fanatic. So for me, like, it just makes sense to just have a wardrobe of things. Just like I have a wardrobe of like makeup products that I like to use, different feels, different looks um, for what is needed at a time. The same thing goes with skincare. Have an, uh, a milky, you know, oaty, oat cleansing balm, and then also have more of a purifying or clarifying um, a cleanser, you know? Uh, go ahead and have the <laughs> resurfacer, but then also, you can also have the hydration. And not all products are gonna do everything for you, so it's also a great way to switch it up and keep your skin kind of fresh, because after you use products after a while, they lose they no longer become as effective as they were because your skin's kind of reached a peak with it. And so you want to think about switching up your products anyways, which is why I say, don't worry about your cleanser. Don't worry about your moisturizer. Those can be like basic, clean, just good products, but put the money into the, the treatments, the masks, the serums, the essences, the boosters, um, the... <laughs> resurfacing treatments, you know, like put your money into that or put your money into maybe even high end treatments that you can get done at a med spa um, uh, or you can get done, you know, any, any place that's going to offer you like a facial or like stuff with lasers, whatever, like there's so many different things out there you could do. So just put your money towards the more important stuff because the cleanser and the moisturizer um, and even your SPF shouldn't be that big of a deal. However, you know, I am bougie about my SPF and I won't let that go. That's my prerogative. That's my business. Do your business, baby. But with all that being said, skincare is really about using what you need when you feel like it. So I use different products for what my skin was needing uh, at the moment. And so that's why I use certain ones over other ones. And then also keeping in mind too, like if I'm using certain type of products, I have retinols or retinoids. So 
um, that makes a difference in the routine as well. So with all that being said, new videos are every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like, comment, subscribe, share, tweet, tweet about it. Talk to me all about it on social media, baby. Love to hear all about it. So um, I think that's it. So I'll just say bye. Bye.